Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Parafilos of Videos. Today we are back to the city of fish and chips in my let's play Designing New Cities episode 13. In this episode I am hoping to finally get the park rolling over here where I have planned to make this park area the Umber Park as it is called at the moment but you could give me some interesting names for this park so I will change the default one into something you make up. You can send that in the comment section of this video. And besides making this park I need to check out am I producing enough fish to make the fish factory busy enough and also to make enough fish available in the fish markets for my entire little fishing village. Also I need to check on whether or not these buildings are going to have enough educated workers and check my education. And after that I can just simply expand the city over to these areas which are left unzoned at the moment. Now like I said first of all I want to make this beautiful park here. I haven't played with this DLC before. I got it for free a few weeks ago when the developers gave it to us and I'm going to start exploring what can be made here. Now first of all I'm going to go into the parks and plaza section and check out the city park area. Here we have some paths, there are some interesting main buildings, then there is the amusement park, the zoo, the nature reserve and the miscellaneous props and park maintenance building. So first of all I'm probably going to have to plop this one as this is the one that's going to be sending out vehicles to fix up these parks. So this is something that I'm probably going to plop somewhere where I have enough room for it like for example well I could probably fit it here if I allowed zoning and building on this street. So I'm going to pause the game really quickly and place this building hopefully here. No I'm just missing a little bit of an area. I think I can gain that by tearing down this street and rebuilding it. I think I should have enough space now in here for this. So park maintenance. There we go. Building that there. I first have to make sure that these streets are unzonable again. There we go. And now besides this in this area here where there are no office buildings which means I will have to reduce this park area a little bit just to let these office buildings actually be built here which I zoned previously but probably won't be built for a while. So a little bit more space in here. This means that I got this area here for the park as well as over here and all the way over here. I might even make this a little bit bigger although I'm probably going to build another fish factory over here so I'm going to leave that area. Now as I said I need to check out some of these buildings and see what should I do here. I see that there's a main gate which connects the park area to the road network for easier maintenance and that is probably something that I'm going to add. Now this has to be placed alongside the road. So once again I'm going to choose this street here for this. But I do first have to toggle the zoning once again available here. Because I use the zoning tool which prevents buildings from being zoned on streets where I disable zoning. And that also disables plopping. So this is going to be the park main gate here. And now once again I can disable zoning on this street. But everything on it will still be available. Now this is the park's main gate and we can see people are already entering here without even knowing there's nothing there yet to have fun at. This car is going to swim into the ocean it seems. Or maybe it's just gonna go onto the street. No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. Now let's get back to building this park. So we should extend this path here a little bit more. So that it seems to have a way to actually get in and we could use the curve tool curve it a little bit around the place and have more areas to explore so we'll go back on ourselves a little bit and then out again and this should provide the park with a lot of space for the sims to move around walk around and explore the place all right now that i have set that up i should probably do some fences so that the park remains separate from everything else so i'll set these up along the roadsides here all right now that the park has been fenced off Let's see what else can be built here. So there are different kinds of gates. Then I see a park plaza. There should be a nice addition over here for example. There is the park cafe of course. We should probably put that somewhere in the middle. Like for example here. Then we have the restrooms. I am guessing that should be next to the cafe somewhere. So let's say over here. There is of course the info boot. We'll place that at the start. Now let's see what else do we have here. Pierce, but I cannot place these. Then the gazebo. I guess we could place that here and possibly in a few other places as well. There are different kinds of it. So we could place several of these inside the park. Let's see climbing fence. That's great for the little kiddies to have a place to play at. Trampoline park. Awesome. 
Let's just find a spot for it. Excellent. Uh, how I just kind of destroyed part of the fence to build this. But I think that's a rebuildable. Okay, that worked out. So the trampolines, they seem to come equipped with children. Because I haven't noticed any children coming into the park and yet they're already here. Quite interesting. The plaza with the fountain is really awesome looking. And the park is looking much better. It's a cool thing that this area here is kind of a beach property. So it's cool that it's really close and it's overlooking here on the river. Now, what else can we place here to make this place even more interesting? Let's see, there are some benches, some park signs. Yeah, definitely a park sign. Let's see it over here and then one over here. Oh, we have our first visitors here, even in a camper van. Some old folks are coming here. Really? Old folks? Seniors? In my city? When did you manage to age so much? Well, let's see what else can we place here. It should be interesting to place some benches so that those old folks can sit. Although the path already had them pre-built, so no need for that. Some signs. That'll work out nicely here. Some lampposts. Yeah, we definitely need these. But I think that as far as the road is concerned, the path, it already came up equipped with these. So I'm just going to add some more here. So that this area here with the cafe and the restrooms is better lit. And then, of course, some tables. We need those, of course. Some chess places for the seniors to have a place to play. Although some young ones may play some chess as well. And we have the tiles, the park tiles. This could be interesting to place, for example, here next to the cafe. And then use these to place some more lights. Some signs. And some more benches like so, even some chess ones. Uh, of course, we do need trash bins from tight time, time so that our sims have a place to throw away the garbage and not ruin the environment because we are building such a nice park for them. And some flowers in spades. All right, some food stalls. Yeah, we definitely need these as well. Let's see one over here. A truck with wieners probably over here. And this one looks like a cola one see or a barbecue one not sure let's place that here at the entrance some more kiddies sandboxes that's awesome i want those let's have plenty of those and i think that's a cannon don't really need that so not gonna place that especially around all the children we could place some of these here along the edges just to make the fences look a little bit more natural now i'm going to add some of these more colorful ones like so Every little bit helps to make the park look even more nicer. Alright, I would say that this looks quite nice to begin with. There are probably some more things that I could add. Probably a little bit more of vegetation that I could probably add right now. Let's just find some trees or shrubbery that would match the ones that are already here. There could be some palm trees that could probably work out. We'll use some of these Chinese palm trees even though they might not be matching this environment but just to make things look a bit more natural and more filled in with trees I'll add these although I think these are already on the beach or was it me who placed them but in any case I'll let them be here they'll make things look more interesting all right so I think we got one gold star there is an income of 130 there is an expense of 420 at level one total visitors until next time 50 out of 500 is the level entertainment until the next level 1067 out of 220 maintenance is i'm not sure is this poor maintenance or what so the park area info says the tickets are 10 i'm actually going to lower this down to like seven to invite more folks so animal ethics advertising campaign main park fireworks celebrate yeah let's get the celebration going, night tours, all right, even more fun. Yep, definitely, and recycle garbage, of course. All right, so that should pretty much cover everything that I wanted to do with the park at the moment. I'll expand on this in later episodes. Now, like I said, I need to check out on the production. So here we have storage of 144 tons and the not enough buyers message here saying that this fish factory isn't being able to export all the fish which should mean that this place is full but it says 8 out of 12 trucks 8,000 units per week and at half the workers even though I think I am 
over unemployed here. Yeah. So what this means is that I probably could build another fish factory or another fish market and be able to use up all this fish that I currently have too much of. Although these trucks are just about getting ready to come in. But you can see freight trucks, 16 out of 18 in use and some of the trucks have just gone out. So it's definitely a long time waiting for these trucks to get into the shellfish fishing harbor from the region and the shellfish is quickly stored meaning that I should probably find a way to empty this faster although it's interesting to see that these things here are not producing well these are growing at the moment 5 out of 5 so they should probably start producing soon growth stage 3 out of 5 so not soon for the seaweed but if I'm already capped with this building being so full and its vehicle is not finding places to sell I should probably do another fish factory and have it be able to pick up all the excess fish. Because this one is all the way there and that means that it takes workers from here, I'm going to set up the other fish factory over here. But first I'm going to move the power lines over here so that I don't have a conflict there and then turn them down again over here and then choose this area here next to the highway to build one more of those fish factories. Now I could connect this road here, probably curve it a little bit over here and then bring it up over here and connect it into this one here. This should allow me enough space to build another fish factory here and no ground or sound pollution will get to my folks. It is now saying of course that it's empty because it doesn't have enough fish or enough of a workforce but that should be quickly solved. I first need to give it some power, that's true going to connect the power from here that will deal with the power the water is there the trucks should start rolling in and the population is already setting up over here with the workplaces so uneducated 15 educated 20 well educated 10 and highly educated 8 so you need a lot of educated population to work in these factories but how is my education inside of the city 56% uneducated, 34% educated, 10% educated and 0% highly educated. So it's definitely not going fast. I do have students in all of these schools. Actually, this is a public library. I was kind of hoping to find me a school. I'm going to have to use the overlay. Okay, so the elementary school, not full. This one, not full. And I think I have a third one over here. Not full either. The high schools, definitely not going to be full if the elementary schools are not full. So yeah, I do have a lot of sims who are in the education system. I just have to wait a little bit longer for them to actually finish schools. So these things are probably going to be working full on only after a little while more time has passed and the sims are finally educated enough to work in these. So I should probably speed up the time, could probably go to level 3 and then expand on the areas where I am going to have more sims to live at. So this would probably mean this area over here. I can leave this as a separate area and then expand this area over there. I'm going to need some streets. Let's see these I connected like this and these like this and these like that. So let's go with something more simpler this time around. Some trees and then from here into here and from here I think from here actually. There we go. That should provide us with lots of zoning. I'm going to leave this area unzoned or maybe just put some building here later on. All right, so let's zone some residential areas and mix in some light commercial areas as well. Although I should probably see if a park or a plaza can be added here. Yep, they can be added. All right, so set up one. I could actually use this area up here for a park. So let's enable zoning here, just as long as I can place a park here. I could probably build something bigger Let's see something that's gonna go into the back side of this place. I think a court will do. There we go. And then disable zone once more here. All right. And that's a park. And I think we are ready to place some zones, some homes and some shops. All right. Let's say this one. Actually, this one is on the intersection. I should probably disable zoning on this one. There we go. Now we get a better zone for this. Over here, it seems that zoning is available for some reason, even though there should not be. Oh, right, because I had added some streets, so 
as soon as I add streets, zoning becomes available, and this is two cross streets too close to each other, so I'm actually going to change where this one is going. It's gonna go into... Hmm. Well, it might as well go up here then, like this. Okay, that kind of settles that, and these should now be unzonable. There we go, unzonable. That's good, because I don't like them to be building anything on these cross streets where the traffic is going. I like the buildings being built on the inside. Now, it's interesting just how much demand for new residential I have, considering the fact that there aren't enough jobs for all these folks. But I'm going to leave it as it is and just add some more of these residential zones hoping that they will all find jobs in my fishing industry i think this should pretty much cover it okay what's going on yeah these zones are kind of badly placed okay let's disable zoning here and this should clear up some zones excellent how about a shop here next to the public library and some more residential zones here 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 and Okay, that one. Actually, it was fine. Okay, never mind. One more shop here. Some more residential zones here. And I think that pretty much covers it. So this area is all built up. I probably don't need to add any services here. I could add them here in the next section. Alright, so that's already up and running because I'm playing on a higher speed. So the fish factory has plenty of fish. That's excellent. This one also plenty of fish and this building should finally start sending out all of its resources over to the other buildings for processing, uh, stopping the possibility for that message to show up saying insufficient buyers for their products. Now let's continue onwards here with the new section. Let's see how do we make this one work out. Well, let's say we start like so from here, then go down a little bit, then we go back over here like this. And then a little bit more of a down approach. And then we go back over here. From this side, we could probably... Actually, maybe it was a bad idea to do a four-way intersection. So let's not do that. Let's make it go like so down here. And then travel up here into... Well, this is going to create intersections quite close. So how about no? How about we go up like this? Then turn from here and then turn into this one a bit later, like so. Yeah, I think that's kind of a better way to do it. And no, I don't really need any more connections. These two will do fine for this area. So because the clinics are over there and there, I could probably add another one over here. As for the services for the deceased, one could be placed here, I think. There we go. Shouldn't mess up with any homes. Yeah, the zoning is now messed up because I had forgotten to keep the game paused while I was adding streets. So now some of these streets are zonable once again and have ruined zoning for all the other ones. So, okay, these have to be blown up and then rebuilt. All right, so keep adding services. So I've added the clink. The service for the dead, the crematorium. I could probably add... Well, no, I don't think I need to add more fire services. More police, no. Schools, I don't think I'm going to have to add those. Nope, nope. That's it. I think that's all that this area could need it. So let's add some more parks, I think, actually. The parks I'm going to need here. Let's find something small that I could fit somewhere. Let's say over here. Okay, that should be enough parks. So some homes and some shops in between them like this. So this would be it. It's already built up because I have a huge demand for residential. It seems that the word has gotten out that I'm building a really nice fishing town. I think I could add some nice trees here just to spruce up the place. Let's see which ones was I using before. Some of these. All right. So add some of these here some of these as well to make it more green okay i think that about covers this area it is part of the spruce hills district i should probably just cut this district a little bit to size like so this one 
is expanded over here. These two are merging alongside this area here. And then this one will continue over to here. Actually, I can use the bigger tool now. And this one can be expanded over to here. And that about does it. I can then continue upgrading this area over here. The commercial buildings are not going to have the educated workers because the population is slow to be educated. It is now down to 44 uneducated residents, 39 educated, 13% well educated, and even we have some highly educated at 4%. These buildings should start getting more employees, more educated employees. Now let's take a look how is the park going. So the maintenance trucks in use, 8 out of 13, 240 is the paid upkeep for the park maintenance building. And the Umber Park is now somewhere in the middle for the maintenance, probably means that it's better maintained than it was. The attractiveness of the park is 900. Okay, and this just shot up to the right. Interesting, I'm not sure how does this mechanic work, but it's interesting to see. So it's at level 2. Visitors this week 18, not that many, but then again, the city is small, it's not even 3000 population. I'm going to play around with this a little bit more, see what else can be fit in here, and then expand over here with more park areas and over here as well. As for the sims, okay, these commercial buildings, yeah, they level up too soon to level 2, and then they don't have enough educated workers, they will just have to wait. The traffic, I should probably take a look, now that we have more vehicles, how is my design working out? Let's see, it says 83%, but honestly, where exactly are those 17% of traffic that are a problem? I mean, I see everything is falling nicely. Maybe over here they stop a little bit too many times. But yeah, I think that everything is falling nicely. It's nice to see them using these uh, runabouts here, the one on the ground and the one above ground, and then they are following their pads going into whichever part they need. It's almost mesmerizing to look at. It's probably going to get even more interesting once there are more vehicles passing through. As for the capacity, I think I have plenty of power, plenty of water, plenty of garbage capacity. So that should all cover the extension to these areas here. Well, that's everything I wanted to cover in this episode. I'm going to use this shot here as a fade out one. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more episodes.